Our darkest moment exits when the sun kisses the river. Current pushes against the shore, ebbs and flows, waning and weak, a metaphor for people held captive by history, burned by misery flowing sweetly, from streetcars and urban sprawl to assembly lines and ballroom halls, through closed mines and open roads, smoky lounges, abandoned homes, spines arched like monuments to a crippling struggle. We have endured but ask if this is where old movements go to die. They rest in shadows or howl like banshees, deep lingering moans, cemented in nostalgic rifts captured in our souls. Unworthy martyrs tied to unsavory legacies remind us that freedom is not free. We salvage from wreckage an identity that quite possibly never was. Illusions plastered upon marquees too bright for our eyes. Our brothers walk Monroe Block, looking for new ways to capture old dreams, find nothing more than gutted remnants of what used to be. We remember how our sisters danced in vanity, while we reduced their bodies to silhouettes, heard them chant to stay alive as our cities were occupied, held signs announcing rebirth, but this renaissance numbed us, froze us with missed opportunity. Landscapes of urban myths contradict stories living in the bones of our brazen, dignity held ransom by politicians separating us from salvation. We walk north as the spirit of Detroit watches over us, turn west where industry emptied our pockets, detour down 12th Street where they would rather burn it down than allow for tyranny, no reparations for the many still there. We remain, communities driven by nothing more than hope. There should be more places for hope, places to plant promise and grow change where people of various hues refuse to plaster the news with stories of how we sacrifice one another. We must learn to trust each other push back against the current flowing under us, stand proud in the wake of what we have made, ask ourselves if we can remain diligent as our darkest moment finally exits.